Hey guys, um, well today I thought I'd, I haven't played this game in years, I started it, oh god, this must have been about a decade ago, maybe longer, um, but yeah, it's a game called Okami, and not giving too much away, it's basic, you basically get to play as a wolf goddess, and you, you have to go around and save people, and save cities, towns, whatever, um, obviously from a bad guy, and um, yeah, love it, because I love wolves, Love being a goddess, love having powers, it's brilliant. There's a lot more to the game and it's there's a lot more depth and just a lot more story to it, but I don't want to give anything away. It's also based on true Japanese folklore, which adds that little bit, well, for, I think it does, it adds a little bit, you know, more to it. So, yeah, it's a good game. If you like walls, you like goddesses and everything, yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to sort this out quickly, because I've just, I just bought it and downloaded it, so, yeah, I've got to go through all this stuff first. Right, okay, so I've had a couple of issues where the, um, I went on the game, the controller wasn't working, uh, I, fit, I managed to mess around and fix that, then I, then the screen wouldn't maximise. Couldn't figure out to get, I tried loads of different things, couldn't figure out how to do it. Because I know you can you can fix it in game, but I wanted to fix it uh, before the game even starts up. So um, I've tried lot. I've tried lots of um, tried things. I'll try looking online, seeing them if anyone has some help. There's lo there's loads of different things to do. None of them worked. Only way to do it is to go into the game and change it in the options. Um, but as I said, I, I then got out the game. But the game won't load in full screen, so I ha we have to watch the beginning on a tiny window, and then I can go into options and um, yeah, put it back to a um, yeah, on full screen. Like I said, I don't know why, but for some reason the game's just not working from the beginning. It it's kind of small, so I click play. Yeah, so it's going to keep doing this. And um, it'll be small at the beginning, but then I'll go into options and enlarge it. But for some reason, every time I get out the game, even if I, when I also I save the option, I save the I save all the um changes, but it just keeps minimizing. I don't know why it won't be like that from the. I'll just do it later on. I'll just change the options again later on. Once upon a time in a faraway land. There was a tiny village by the name of Kamaki Kamiki. Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatens the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them. Controlling the very fabric of existence, of existence this wolf stood up against a beast many times its size and banished the darkness. This ethereal wolf's brilliant act ushered an era of tranquility. The villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. Okami again and hear all the music and all that. So um yeah. Uh so I'm going to now sort out the screen, enlarge it and put all um put everything to max to HD everything. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that quickly then get back to playing the game. Right, there we go, everything's on high, maxed out everything. Um, so yeah, about the full screen. 
Right, so let's begin a new story. New game. Hmm. Looking forward to playing this again, that's it. Like I said, it's been years since I've played this. Let's just tell a story that I've just. Oh no, okay. I was going to tell a story like was Long, long ago. I thought I thought he was going to tell a story all over again. A tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet barge was honoured as a god. Look at the blossoms in Japan, don't they? However, they are beautiful, I admit. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Is any village, to be honest. <laughs> to, to saturate the appetite of Orochi, the fearsome cave dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the maiden thing. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. Help me! This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranu? Shirani? <laughs> I did, I, I need to, I can't remember how to pronounce her name now. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. No, it's not. <laughs> One villager took it up upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranu. Shirani. The warrior Na Naji attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were, his attempts were thwarted by Shirani's swift movements. Can't talk now. <laughs> a white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Oh. Naji, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by the sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Naji travelled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. Aww. The moon cave, a place dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Naji stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Naji leaped with an incredible grace, swinging his blade vigilantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel, the blade left nearly left nary a scratch. At long last, Naji, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Naji, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shirani, the wolf, that dwelled outside the village. Barring its fearsome claws, Shirani leapt toward Orochi. Orochi 
reared its terrifying heads, ready in its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shirani summoned guests of divine winds to counter Roti's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shirani, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shirani fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, you need to remember this tale from the beginning. Orochi, protected by mis mystical power, was not easily bested. Shirani, covered in gashes, ma majestic coat dyed grimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Ah, oh, poor wolf! Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shirani refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a might and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off, Na off Naji's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Naji, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his advisory, channeling all his strength into his, into his scarred and battered arms. He leaped furiously toward Orochi, his sword poised hard. Hard? High! <laughs> the golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shirani had succumbed to Roach's poison and sh struggled to breathe. Naji scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kemaki. I think that's how you pronounce it. When they reached the village, Shirani was no longer moving. Oh, it's been a while since I've heard this story, and I'm. I'm. Yeah, it's upsetting. <laughs> The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shirani let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, Aww. then closed his eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Hmm. Peace had at last returned to, K to Kemaki village. In honour of, Shir of Shirani's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Naji's sword was christened Tasakuyami. I am probably butchered that word, I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. It never is. There is more to this tale than most people know. 100 years have passed since Naji and Shirani's hero heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice.
Is this the legendary sword? Is this the Sakayomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. A fairy tale that's trying to try and eat you. I remember this character. He annoys me throughout the game. Oh, he who seeks power. He who has broken my bonds. Speak the words. I wish darkness onto the world. Don't speak that. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Oh. tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape a terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamaki village enjoyed the protection of, of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Wood Spirit Sakuya Sakara? How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years. I have spent protecting this area. I see you're the reason. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami Amaterasu. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see as the saviour whose brave sacrifice sealed the way the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. He's been a statue and dead, that might be why. <laughs> Seeing you emerge after so many years spent, a sta spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our mist, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish 
with darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Uh, what is this? Is something sto st stolen? Oh, I remember this bit. Sorry, it's way into my robe. <laughs> I'm laughing. Ha 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 ha. Oh, she had to see the jiggly boobs. Whew. What on earth? You again? I nicknamed him, I nicknamed him the little bug guy. Um, ow, 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 ow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more... Interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I've told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a one I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isan. Wandering artist Isan. I'll show you just how great I am, and if and it won't be long till you're bound before my great brush. Is that what she's supposed to, is that okay that's what she actually looks like in the um real Japanese folklore that's interesting well well what do you think even cuter than the real thing no what's with you furball you look kind of down and dumps actually you look kind of familiar got it you look just like got it you look just like that statue of Shirani. Wow, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You regret messing with the great Isan. Don't make me use come and use my prized sword. Then Kumaru against you. What's that growling sound? Someone growling. And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god, Amaratsu. I've used all the power I have to protect Maki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That's that's a that's the Kara girls. Uh, sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If we don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're while you're taking a nap. Apparently. Right, so cut it down. I don't remember the controls. No, I don't think I'm supposed to cut down yet. I think I'm supposed to go through here. I could <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of myself. Where are we? We got awfully quiet. We got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. LB changed your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're gonna see about that. Mm. I might have to change the controls. This is that weird thing. I don't like the. Oh, I don't like those controls. No, oh, this is the controls where. Hold on. 
person foraging mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you can always go back if you get stuck or something. You'll be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. There we go. This has changed the um this one a bit. Because when um I I don't like those controls when um Look at those pots just waiting to be broken. If you if you bust them there might be something good inside. Press X to bust them with your head. Well well, as I was saying, this um I changed the uh, camera because basically when you sometimes they have um, the options where you push to the right, it goes left, you push to the left, it goes right. That annoys me, so I just, I just, I just I tackle that, I don't like that. Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that any time you see something you can break. Oh, it's actually good. You're gonna need to stop me. It still feels a bit weird. I don't know why. I think I just need to get used to the game again. It just feels a bit odd. Whoa, well, whoa, well, hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high will also be a piece of cake. Press A to jump, then press A again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Why didn't that work? Oh, look, now I'm going to change. Look, I'm pressing up, it's going down. I press down, it goes up. Just. I don't like those. When you press left, it goes right. Press right, it goes left. Right. Right. They go up, down, right, left. There we go. That's how I like it. The way it should be. <laughs> I knew you could do it. They say good luck is. Is found in high places. Is it? But keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Holy bone. Favorite snack? Crystals for you. It's so. Oh. It's all very starting to feel smoother. We just changed the. Um, well, you just need to get used to the game. And, um. Well. Like any game, when it's new, you just have to get used to it. And if, um. You can. You change the. Oh, yeah, I forgot she speeds up naturally. Yay! Oh, yeah. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Um. And my fancy was it? Let's go along. Why the call you Amy? Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brush work has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'll take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? I'm not doing that, by the way. That's not me. That was. The sun doing that. 
Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenate. Rejuvenation. It's one of my brush techniques that's used divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just, just to master this one technique. But there are 13. Each one is a power. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single, were single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how can anyone have the power to master all 13? River of the Heavens River of the Heavens They mean the fabled Stardust River But I sure don't see anything like that around here It couldn't be that little puzzle over there, could it? Yes it could Wow Look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look, are those stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Ah, oh, dragon. Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Again, that was him, not me. <laughs> ah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press RB to hold the brush, then X draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. Mumble. If it isn't Mother Amaterasu, I apologise for not contacting you sooner during these long years. I may never forgotten you. I, Yamagami, God of... I clicked that too fast! Res 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 resurrection was that? I don't know, I clicked it too fast. I've eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you are away, 30 spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yamagami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good with a brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Um an actual god, or maybe the goddess who originally owned all 13? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if drawing some stardust would get to the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a, star a starry river? There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. Money, money, monies! Money, money. 
Man and Rich Man's Man. I'm just not singing that watch. This is me, you can tell by how it's been poorly painted. Let's just do it everywhere, see what happens. River, they're good enough. Apparently. Wow. A river of stardust. So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? I just did it in front of you! You probably can't see um, see me doing anything then. That's not fun. So he just sees he just sees it appear out of nowhere and doesn't actually see what's going on. Astral pouch. Look what you found, Furball. What happened to Amy? This astral pouch is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its own, its owner of if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. This is only... Do they... I think these hold foods as well as money. So there's money in these things. Yeah, look, food. You can chew an apple. Uh, nectar feels sour apple, feels actual part a little bit. Peach. Yep, 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 skip, skip. Orange. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I do find it interesting to read about games, but some things I'm not interested in. <laughs> okay, I got the fruit. Good. Let me skip it. Mm -hmm. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We, we must be in the cave of Naji. The legendary hero Naji is enshrined here. He banished, he banished evil 100 years ago with the help of the white wolf, Shirano. Shirani. First the river of the heavens and now this place? Where the heck are we, Furl? Boy, this place is a wreck. See? That sword didn't... The sword's in really bad shape. The god sure didn't do much to protect this place. Emily, doesn't that use broken swords? They're buggy. Um. I got the hint, I got the hint. I'm looking for money at the moment though. For everything. Yeah. So just go straight up, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. That really was your brush work all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like a... Oh, a little mouse! I wasn't paying attention to where the star was, but it's gotta be that, yeah. yeah. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mother Amaterasu, it's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in the shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there is anything I could do to assist you in your endeavours, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil.
Hey, that was the god Tachi Gum Tachi Gummy? Master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute. If you're getting all these pa all these powers, then you're just like that Sharani. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Naji. When Sharani died, the wolf's power was split into the thirteen brush gods. This is crazy. Sharani and Naji. It's Naji. It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen his power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that on that border over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. Won't believe it till I see it. Wow. I didn't think you had it in, in you, Herbal. I'm not even in the same league as you. And I just started out. Well, restarted. <laughs> Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, Furball. Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a trat suit. I've made up my mind. If you're Sharani the Born, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she thinks so too. So. <laughs> I'm sure that she thinks so too. Uh -huh. It's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Sa Sakaya was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so we have to slash this open then. What the? Where did they come from? Uh, whatever. We'll first ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the X to use its power against them. Look at me. Once you've caught them off guard and turned them black and white, they're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Spirit globes. Yep, 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 Oh, you're too far away now. I was gonna try and do them both at the same time. Right, so now we can cut you down.
already looking better. Wow, the village has been restored. So Kara came through the big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent more time in her kimono. If you know what I mean. Yeah, we know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, no. But seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how the how they're all doing down there. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Oh, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. I'm not sure which way to go. Oh, I remember you. There's a little side game. It's funny, but also a pain in the backside. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned to stone or something. Not, not again. That's not one of those smaller monsters that are lurking about. A roar like that's gonna be it's gonna belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry it. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. He's awake, he's not awake yet. No good, this one's not moving. This one here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on around here. The village is back, but what's up with the dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village too. Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Oh, that was... I know where to go. Oh, what's that? The bit where I wasn't too sure where to go first. I wasn't too sure where to go up or down. Uh, looks like up. Yeah, I know where to go. Just jump! This is bad. The sun's not even shining. The sun's not even there! It's as black as night as far as, I, as the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to stay like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. But I guess that'll be impossible, even for a god like you. Maybe we'd better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. No. A bad circle, but it's better than nothing. Oh, we do have some start. Okay. Didn't know that. <laughs> well, what the? Um. Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. Sun Goddess! Oh! The. <laughs> it's, it's the name of the Sun God, yeah. So it's full. So. Yeah, so she started with it because she's the Sun Goddess, she had it from the beginning. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so it'll follow that you had the sunrise technique from the start. Yeah, I've read about a little bit about Amar Amaterasu in her background. It does say that she's a Sun Goddess, I forgot about that. With it, you can even turn night into day. Wow. You're no run of the mill god, that's for sure. The, f the flying brush is like muscle from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. 
he felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and colour. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after that poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Come on, Emmy. Let's get back to the village. We're going to see if the villagers are back to normal now. Um, who are you? Bridge Elder, Mr. Orange. A white wolf? Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Naji. Naji were... It couldn't possibly be the legendary Shirani. No, it can't be. Her story is 100 years old. Still, not like that statue of Shirani. Have you looked at the statue? It's not there anymore. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Ooh! Insult. Oh, that's what. That's how he sees her. He can't see the colours and that. Yeah. Well, what? No need to growl like that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The um. Anyone who's not a celestial being, or has other gifts, I guess you could say. Yeah. Normal people. They can't see what she really looks like. She just looks like a white wolf. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. And you look like a very... Well, um... Nasty old man with an orange on his head. There you go. Oh, what I mince words? Hmm? What's this sudden chill down my spine? Oh yeah, they can't see the demons either, can they? They can't see any of it. Here they come, purple. Those are the monsters. Monsters, not demons, but yeah. Those are monsters that's, that have been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, purple. This is the job of my trusty sword. Den... Denkumaru. You just use the old man to bat him. <laughs> she just used the old man and bat his the um He's a joy. Keep on from demons, not demons. Ah. ah. And that was a poor line. Oh god no. Screw it. Wow, you really, you really get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you've got yourself some praise. And look, see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because right, ridden an area of monsters restores the god's power to the land. People call it divine intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of the power. Few people believe in gods these days, and that may weaken you. But if you try real hard, your true power just might shine through. But boy, there's sure been a lot of monsters around lately. And that Mr. Orange you tossed around up on the <laughs> sacred deck looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have gods have grown so. Seems the gods have grown so weak, people can't see them anymore. Because I don't think they, they could anyway, even before this. Oh, because they even said in the story a hundred years ago that they thought she was just a normal white wolf, so they clearly couldn't see her back then either, could they? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Verbal. Obtained feet. Why, you little devil? Look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait. This is animal food. Still, we can save it to give to animals. I was going to say, this is one of my favourite parts of this bit. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. 
some something good might come out of it. Using using it, something good might come out of using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use cr creatures in this manner, but what the heck? Let's make the exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot. There was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press. It looks like the play button to open the fan menu. Start, isn't it? Yes, yeah, start. While the fan menu is open, you can check and use the items you, you have. There's other things you can do there too. The fan menu is your is your key to a successful adventure. Oh yeah, you can choose what to level up when you start it. Oh, and there's your... I can't... I can't really point it out. But, um... When that red bar goes up, every time, every time it hits a notch, that's when you get to choose which one of these you can level up. And these are all the powers you've got. Oh, that's three, but hey. That's not. Oh, yeah. Uh, map, uh, yeah. Because here you get to feed animals and um, you place one up here. You fight. No, uh, don't fly away, I'm gonna feed you. Oh, I've got a little bit too um, aggressively. There's nothing else around here. I need those birds back. Let's walk up to them. I don't know. How am I supposed to feed you? Keep flying off. So you can actually keep the screen on and it will stay like that. I don't think it ever comes off until you press it off. This is one of the things I like about this. You get to watch and. Yeah. I like these little scenes where you can feed the animals and watch everything. I don't know why, I just like it. So I, I'm, I think you just go away and they'll carry on. Good. Indeed. You still fly away after I've literally just given you food. Oh, oh that's the other thing I like, yeah. Your heart's for me. No. Oh, I run out of bird seed, I'm sorry. Oh, that's the... Mr. the orange. Oh, that... I chucked him off that cliff, really? Sorry. Uh, where is she running? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I feel it. I sense it. How beasts dwell in this place. Prostrates the cards. You see, right behind you now. Wrong button. I wonder if it worked well up this way. Oh, that just popped up. Humans were not witness to such battles, but I saw it. Fighting went on for exactly 21 seconds. The, st the song, I've got 21 seconds to go, I've got 21 seconds to flow, that just went straight to my mom and said that. <laughs> uh, hello. Well, oh, what a fine looking wolf. What's your name? Mine's Gushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Working in the fields again, are you? 
Yes, son. Are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my steak, you know. But I have to manage the harvest all my own. It's hard. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susanna Bassie's name uh, give me a hand again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting. Chatting to you. Whammy, I think we've found a friend here. You'll meet many people who want to talk to you. Like this. You should talk to them too. Or even three times. Being a god and all, you can actually tell when when to talk because you'll see a triangle off their head. That means they still have something to say. It might even be valuable information sometimes. It may just be mustering to themselves. Are you please listen? I would give it up, but there we go. Susanna is a neighbour of mine. He's a little unusual, but he goes around with a huge sword slung over his shoulder. He's always practicing with it. They say he's a direct descendant of our legendary hero, Naji, and he loves his steak too. He often pops round here to buy it. Make sure to say hello when you see Sus uh, Susanna. He could use a friend, I should think. He's always on his own. So that's what you want me to do. Sheesh. He's always snoring like a bear. This is the home of the two-bit middle-aged warrior Susano. He goes around claiming to be a descendant of Naji. He's famous around here for his lineage, but he's awful. He's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of a legendary hero. Headbutt him. Oh, you want to be headbutt him? Let me headbutt him. Oh, Kushi. Let's <laughs> mumble, mumble. Let's not. Well, looks like he ain't walking, waking up anytime soon. He's out cold. Oh, run. Uh, if that didn't wake him, nothing will. Let's just leave him. For a while and find something else to do. I will, but I still want to head bust him again. I know, I just wanted to do it again. I don't like him very much, so I like head bust him. White wolf? Now that's a rare sight. Did you come down from the mountains just to play with us? Well, you'd better be careful, dear. Lately, some monsters have been attacking the village. We just oh, but maybe they can see the monsters then. Hmm. Do you even know who you're talking to, Grandma? This here is Shirani, reborn. The wolf, and the wolf and I have it covered. These monsters are history. Well, if it isn't Isan. And riding a wolf, are we? This one certainly resembles Shirani, especially the nose. Hmm. Well, I'd better get back to my work. No. Here to listen to the ramblings of an old woman, are you? Well, I was doing the laundry, but when it was ready to dry, I noticed my drying pole was gone. Oh, whatever should I do? Where did that darn pole go? Why does something important like that just disappear? Is it? Um, she's missing something that should be there, is she? You'd better help her out, Furball. But where do I, where do I draw it? I draw it, though. 
Oh! Okay. A new drawing pole? Oh my, where did that come from? The gods must have answered my prayers. How wonderful! Time to dry the laundry. Well, I'm glad I was able to hang my laundry, but the sun seems to be so far away these days. Maybe it doesn't like all those monsters that I'm lurking about. If only it would shine closer, my laundry would dry in a second. You, want, you literally want me to make the sun bigger for you? My laundry would dry in a jiffy. The sun, if the sun would just shine closer. You heard the lady. She wants the sun. Time to use your no. How do you know what? Here. My word. The sun has suddenly drawn so close. You haven't wondered about any of these princesses. I just feel like she's got orange on her head. Oh, you're not the Mrs. Mrs. Orange. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even look at her name before. I just looked at it, so I noticed her orange on her head. Okay. The laundry will be done. Uh, will be bone dry in no time. First my pole and now this. And the miracles never cease. And you're talking to a white wolf that looks like the goddess. No bells ringing. Maybe I ought to make some cherry cakes to offer to the sun. Offer it to her! She did it! Come back tonight if you want some too, Snowball. Snowball. No one makes better cherry cakes. They're mouth watering good. Hey, it's the orange. Mr. and Mrs. Origin. Mr. and Mrs. Orange's place. nothing to eat except oranges. They, they put oranges in their heads and eat oranges. They've got oranges just stacked everywhere in the house. What is with them and oranges? There is such a thing as too much. Who the heck put this big rock here? It's blocking the only road out of, out of the village. Doesn't look like you could squeeze through anywhere. Besides, I don't even know if it's safe to leave the village yet. Heave, heave. This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. Or my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Maybe it's a gigantic boulder that one mere little man can't. Maybe. Nice. Hey, I want to see your ugly demon butt. Yeah, wrong button, that's why I stopped doing anything. Let's just slash them all. Oh crap, I forgot. If I do it too much, I'd run out of ink. Go, I'm just to leave anything, so heck. I'll just read on my head then. Well, I mean, you, start to start, you suddenly start glowing. That means your divine attributes can be enhanced. Well, you sure look excited. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a stab at it. enhancing your divine attributes. I'm going to open the fan menu where you'll see your divine attributes. 
Use the praise you've accumulated to enhance any. Oh, this is what I talked about leveling up earlier. Enhance any attribute you want. Yeah, this is what I talked about earlier. Um, what do I need most though? Well, is it all? Is it all coming back to you or what? Huh, it's hard to notice such a small enhancement. Oh, lighten up, verbal. This is one big step for the new and improved Amaretsu. Yep, uh, keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. We'd better check in on that dude. There we go. Ah, oh, I feel as light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. Who went and blocks the only gay path out for anyway? There's no way I can get back to the city now. Say, but your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy Susano. Can you get him to come here? They say he's the descendant of the legendary hero Naji. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. So I know what I need to do, but oh, the rabbits. I actually want to do the sides. I want to do these ones as well. I like doing the side mission before moving on. Just hers is a bit annoying. Hmm, a white wolf. Now that's just plain weird. Sure looks like a weak little bug. Weak, weak little bug, are you serious? Think you could beat my dog? I was just, I can't believe it's just called me a weak little bugger. You're a little bugger. <laughs> Um, hey, uh, you, you sir? Brother, well, listen to this. There's this field my mama tends to. You see, well, hey, you sir managed to dig up nine turnips in a row. Even though my mama was chasing him around trying to slug him. There are actually ten turnips in that field. Hey, you sir is fixing, fixing to get all ten. I think you can dig up all the turnips in my mama's field. Don't forget, you'll have to avoid being slugged by my mama. I'll admit you're the better canine if you can do it. Nah, she's gonna try to slug us. Not exactly my idea of a good time, Amy. Mm -hmm. Oh! That dog behind him! Yeah, I just recognise where those clothing that thing's from. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to give anything away, this thing, but I've just, yeah, I just remembered what that symbol's for and what, yeah. Okay, they for later on. <laughs> At least you have your celestial brush and wicked brush strokes. I forgot how to pick. Wait, are you following me now? Hello. You're a cute little thing. Oh, that's, that's, I think. Oh, keep digging. Oh. So. Oh, can I do this? Yeah. No. See, this is annoying bug because you have to keep running around and having a slug you. Don't get that in time. Tell me I've got that in time. Oh, did I get that in time or did that, did that fail? Oh my gosh! 
didn't count because she got me in the last second. I hate this game so much. I actually did it, but she got I got it. God damn it. Mm. Do that all over again. I don't like this mini game one bit. That's why I don't. That's why when I, I remember seeing it and just dreading it, and I still dread it. I did dig them all up. Oh, God's sake.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
there. Um, well, I don't know what happened, but after I finished playing the game, I noticed that my recording stopped part way, and um, yeah, so it didn't. Re it stopped recording audio. Um, well, as as you heard, it, it stopped. Um, so yeah, basically here I was just explaining how I love the game because, uh, and the concept. So if you like gods and wolves and having powers and you're able to play as a wolf goddess, then yeah, you'd probably enjoy this game. It's, it is, I can't remember what date, what year it came out. It is quite old, but it's still a great game. And like I said, I've played this, I've completed this game a couple of times um, years ago. I haven't, I haven't played it or completed it for a long, long time. Over the years, I've gone back to it a couple of times, but I've only gone past the first bit and then stopped for whatever, for whatever reason. This is the first time I've gone back to it in a very long time and in, and in the aim of actually completing it, which I'm looking forward to doing. I definitely want to complete it again. And um, yeah, so there will be times where I'll probably see something, oh yeah, I remember that, or... I'll probably get flashbacks and remember certain things I've forgotten. That's be that'll be fun to um, experience again some of these things. Um, the story is lovely, and there are some more goofy moments and goofy characters. There is it is there is some comedy in it. It is some parts are, are funny. Um, yeah, it's just I personally think it's just a great game all around, and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll also mention there is this other game. A second one to it that I never tried. I think a different company made it. It's basically about Amaritsu's son. You get to play, I think you get to play as a son. I didn't read too much into it because I'd rather play it. I don't like to find too much out about games before I play them because um, I don't want anything ruined or any surpri un surprises, unwelcome surprises. I don't want any of that. Um, but I, I know I think you get to play as Ami's son. Um, but the last I heard, it was the game was only available on Nintendo's, and I think you, I've got a Switch, which I think I, I could probably get it on. But if I do play it, I want to play it on the PC. I don't know if there's a PC version at the moment. It was just it was just for nin, for Nintendo. Um, once I complete this game, I might look into it more, see if I can um, find a PC version if there is a PC version of it. And probably played that as well because I have wanted to play that for a long time. Um, but yeah, I said love this game, love the character. Just it's so lovely and uh, do recommend. And I'm looking forward to getting back and playing it again. So yeah, if you've been watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.